in this video, I'm gonna break down something that I did mentally that really helped me take my music career from zero to six figures. Now, to quickly qualify myself and be super real, what I do is I run a music coaching business. I teach musicians and recording artists how to produce music and how to land high paying clients that will pay them $500 to $3,000 each. I need to wear this hat, it's hella hot. And that's how I made my money. I'm being super clear and honest about that. I started my academy January, 2023. And from Jan, 2023 to June, 2024, I did over $164,000. From Jan, 2024 to June, 2024, I did $92,000. So pretty cool. But I wanna explain something. I started out, and by the way, this video, I just want you to know, to give you the option to click away and not watch it, this video is not gonna be a tactical video. It's just not. Uh, the video is not gonna give you a strategy, like a quick hack, and I'm not doing this for algorithm love. I'm, I'm really not. I'm just doing it because I think, I think somebody's gonna hear it. Oh, I found a nice bench. Somebody's gonna hear it. Somebody's gonna like it. It's gonna help somebody in their life somehow, some way. So I, I realized that one of the reasons that I made it and that I've become, I do what I love to do, which is make music, teach other people music and make a good living from it is because of the quality of the questions I asked myself. So like, you know how people ask, like I was watching, I watched La Russell's Free Game Fridays and like, this is gonna sound really mean, not to La Russell, cause he's a goat. I mean, he'll never say it, but I'm gonna say it. People ask really dumb questions. And I realized I'm like, I never ask questions like these, but they're common questions. Like, how do you promote your single on a budget? Or how do you promote your single when you have no love in your local city. I'm just like, what the fuck are you talking about? And I like hear things like on a budget, like how do you promote your music on a budget? What do you mean a budget? What does that even mean? And I've realized like just the quality of the questions people ask are so dumb. And I'm not the smartest, I'm not the smartest candle on the menorah, okay? I'm not, I'm, I'm of maybe moderate intelligence, but, I don't know, not super smart. But what I'm, what I'm saying is like, I always asked myself really smart questions. So for example, like the reason, like if you go check my Spotify, abysmal. Like I don't have, I think I have like 300 monthly listeners. Like I don't care about Spotify because I asked myself, why should I care about Spotify? If you ask any artist that, or most artists, what are they gonna say? Well, it's a major platform. It's how labels take you seriously. If you're gonna book shows, they need to see your Spotify. Just all this shit and I'm like, yeah, but I wanna make money. I wanna make money with my music. I wanna make money doing something I love doing. And I love coaching and I'm gonna go do that. However, even if I was a producer, even if I was doing like full artist route, like if I was not doing any coaching and not doing any of that sort of thing and I was like, I'm just gonna be an artist, I still wouldn't focus on Spotify because you don't make any fucking money from it. I would still just try to build my audience on social media using Instagram and Instagram ads and content. I'd put out a ton of music. I would sell my music on even.biz. That's a major thing. I would sell my music. I would put music up for free, but I would not be running any paid ads or doing any playlisting to Spotify because I've done all of that. It does literally nothing. It isn't worth it. It's not smart. You can grow on Spotify by putting out great music and collaborating with other artists. So I've always asked myself questions like, Lee, why are you doing that thing that you're doing right now? Like I would pay for the ads, I'd run the playlist. And I'm like, this is kind of dumb. So I stopped doing it. And I was like, okay, Lee, what are you really, what are you trying to do? What are you trying to do? And I'm like, honestly, I don't know if I want to be, I, like I started doing this coaching thing and I didn't even fucking know I wanted to do that shit. But like, all I knew was I was like, look, I wanna make money. I wanna do it from home. I like doing shows, but I don't really like traveling that much. And I and, and like, shows are a lot of work, especially if you wanna put on your own show. It, 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 it's a lot. So I'm not like the big, like, I'm not the biggest live show guy. I don't even like going to live shows that much, except if it's a La Russell Pergola show. But other than those, I don't love going to live shows, I have to be honest with you. So, okay, Lee, you don't like putting on live shows. You don't even like going to live shows. What about merch? Shit, I 
my my wife and mo mother-in-law got me this shirt. Like most of my shirts are plain black t-shirts. I don't even wear clothing with brands. And if I do wear clothing with brand, it's gonna be good company or it's gonna be my boy, A Gabe, or one of, one of my friends' t-shirts, but I'm not buying shirts. So I, I don't even like merch. I'm not fashionable. Look at me. These are, look at, these are dad shoes, bro. I'm not fashionable. I'm not fashionable. So I'm like, cool, clothing ain't gonna be it. So Lee, you don't wanna do live shows. You don't wanna put on live shows. You don't like going to live shows and you don't like, you don't even care about merch. So what other, and you, you ain't gonna do the streaming thing. What are you gonna do to make money if you're gonna be an artist? These were all the questions I was asked. I was like, damn, maybe I'm not trying to be a full blown artist. Maybe I wanna do my own thing. Maybe I wanna to try to be a different version of, of, of what I've seen. Maybe I wanna be something else. So that's why I got into the coaching, but the point of the video isn't to tell you about my coaching. The point of the video is to, for you to question how you question yourself. That's meta. Question how you question yourself. Like, what questions are you asking yourself? What are you saying to yourself? What route are you really trying to go on? What are you trying to do? What are you trying to do? I'm trying to get the lighting right. <laughs> what are you trying to do? Like, this is, but everything that I've done has always boiled down to like a question that I've asked myself. So like, I'll give you a great example. Why did I start producing my own music? Like I started out as just a rapper songwriter, but then I was like, okay, I don't want to keep buying beats and I don't want to keep paying for mixing mastering. I certainly don't want to wait for other people. Like why would I wait for somebody else to get my, I just worked with producers that just, they weren't getting the shit done. And I'm like, fuck this. I'm gonna just do it myself because I heard Russ and Russ was like, yeah, I put out a song a week for three years and blew up and I, I made all the beats mixed master them. And like, obviously Russ is like super successful. So I'm like, okay, if that dude could do that, I could do that. That's what I saw. I was like, okay, I like that idea. And then I was like, oh, if I produce, maybe I could like make money producing for other artists. That sounds fun. Maybe I can make money mixing and mastering for other artists. That sounds kind of fun. I did that. I went and tried that. I did that. Didn't love it as much as I thought. Selling cheap lease beats, not as easy as it sounds. <laughs> but I went and figured it out and it did change my life to be able to produce my own music. And I'll tell you why. Because to have the creative freedom to walk out of my bedroom, go to my living room, see my desk and go, I can make a song today from scratch for free. And I don't have to wait for anybody. And I don't have to hit anybody up. And I don't need to wait for anyone to finish the song. The songs get finished as fast as I get them done. And it's awesome. So I was like, damn, this is dope. I'm glad I did that. That was the biggest change I ever made in my life was learning how to produce. But I asked myself the question, Lee, why do you need to ask someone else to produce your music? Can't you just do it yourself? So at the end of the day, you're gonna be as successful as the quality of the questions you ask yourself.